In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up wireless cameras uh, onto one of our recorders. So as you can see, these are some of the variety of wireless cameras that we have. So first you need to connect a power adapter to the camera. So it's important that they all have power at the beginning. You want to connect the power adapters to the outlet, make sure they're all firmly connected. Once you've done that, you'll need to connect an Ethernet cable to the camera. The other end of the Ethernet cable will then go into your route or switch so they become visible on your network. So this is the recorder we're going to be using in our demonstration. So you can install your own hard drive if you didn't purchase one with the system. It will take any Seagate or WD hard drive and it will fit inside. You want to connect one cable for the power, one cable for the data. You would then screw the hard drive into the base of the recorder and then make sure you screw that base back onto the rest of the body of the recorder. So now we're connecting the recorder to a display using a HDMI, but you can also use a VGA cable. So once you've powered it up, you want to make sure that if you have put a new hard drive in, that you format the hard drive to initialize it so that the recorder will start using it to store your data. Once this is done, the recorder will reboot and then you would want to move on to setting up the cameras. For this, you'll need a PC or laptop. You can go onto our website at domar.com. Under our support, you can go under tools and you'll find all the software that you need. For this, we're using the search tool for Windows, which is for the cameras that you saw at the start. So just run through the software and install it and load it up once it's installed. Now you can use the tool to find those cameras that we connected. So as you can see, they're appearing on the network. You then just want to type in the IP address as you would a web address. You need to use Internet Explorer for the plugins and in order to display the settings and menu. So now we're going to configure the wireless network for the camera. We're going to search for your router. Once you've found your router, you're going to enter the password for your router. You can also then perform a check to make sure that it is connecting successfully to the router before you unplug the Ethernet cable. Once you're happy with everything and you've unplugged the camera, you can then find the wireless IP address, which will be different from the address that it had while it was plugged in. So now we're changing that IP address to a fixed address. This way, if the camera powers down or your internet restarts, it will come back straight onto the recorder. So there we put the Ethernet cable to the recorder into the router or switch. And this way it's now on your network. So it should be able to find the cameras. So once you've changed your network settings, uh, it's a good idea to just reboot it in order to make sure those have applied correctly. So again, like we did with the camera, we're going to put it onto a fixed IP address. So that way it always comes back to that address and it doesn't alter any configuration. 
here you will find the cameras. So by searching, you're scanning your network for the cameras. You should find the IP address of the camera. You just want to tick it and then add it. Once you've added it, you will get a display up in one of the camera channel boxes. So here we're setting up the mobile app. Under the network settings on the configuration, you'll find the option for P2P, which is the status of the mobile app. So here we're scanning the QR code of the application. You'll find the capture code on the sticky label underneath the recorder. And for the username, you would want to use admin and the password 12345, unless you have changed this. This is also case sensitive. Once you've run through adding it onto your devices, you want to make sure you select the camera icon in the middle to display the preview. As you can see, the cameras at the beginning were PTZ cameras, so you can use your mobile app to control, move, and uh, adjust the focus on the camera through the app. That's only if you have that kind of camera.